So today we are going to be building a holder for this because the trash bag gets too heavy and it falls down. So I'm going to build a holder to attach to this so the trash bag won't fall down. So we need to measure it. Let's measure how big we want this to be. So it's going to be around uh, say like 75% of an inch thick. So let's build this. I'm going to do that. How that long across? And then All right, sorry, I'm just trying to find out how to measure this real quick. So to go to like, I need it to go to 19, so we're right around there. Okay, nice, we got the first part done. So now let's level it out. Look at it, nice. Go over here, grab that, pull it down on that thick. Okay. So Okay, so that little grabby part right there that looks like a desk, it will wrap around this, and I'm going to build a little extension and then down so I can put the trash bag like that, or a Walmart bag, I guess. Okay, so now let's build that part. Okay. Okay, so I will have to put some supports on this thing, but I'll do it like that. Actually, I don't need supports if I, boom. Now let's rotate it. Lift it up a little bit. Now go all the way down. And then we can bring that to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna have to copy and paste this. Now this isn't the only thing that we're making. I also want to, where is it? Here it is. I want to make a holder for this under my desk. So that's what we're also going to make today. So I'm going to copy and paste this over. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> nice. 
Thank you all for watching. You can see that we got some 3D printers and or people who like 3D printing. Um I am going to export this. Okay, and now let's start on the other thing. The holder. This should take a nice amount longer. Um, trash. So now I am going to have to do this in parts because my 3D printer is not big enough. So I'm contemplating on which side. Right, I'm going to have it lay like this and it's going to slide under my desk. So... Let's get to measuring. Okay, it's six inches in length. Six length. So it's gonna be like a hundred and seventy inches this way. Yeah, so that's almost the entire length of it right there. I have to pull that back out. <clears throat> but we need it to be big. Now I'm gonna have to pull this all the way out. Let's see how long I want it to be. Why is it not showing me? Hundred. So that's only like five inches. Um, I want it to be able to hold it, which will probably be good enough. Let's do, yeah, five inches. Five inches, boom. Now let's make this thinner so it doesn't waste a whole bunch of filament. Okay, bring that down. Nice. Now I am going to have to print this in multiple pieces. Hmm. Here, let's actually, because I want to make it where I can screw it in. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So now, how tall? Around there. No, I actually, how tall is this? So it is an inch and a half tall. Let's do two inches. 40. That would be like 48. 48 millimeters. Um, the Tinkercad is a very good beginner one. It measures in millimeters, so you can just ask series or something to convert inches into millimeters. One inch is 24 millimeters, if you wanted to know. Anyways. That looks good. So this is going to be for the first corner. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to have it, like, slide in. I 
Don't know if I want to add a wall right here. Because then I don't think it'll fit. How would I print it without a wall? And if it ain't good enough, then I can print it with a wall. So now it's time to... Let's make this thing a little bit thicker. Nope, too thick. There we go. Now we can add this guy right here. This is going to be for the screws. Later, when I get better at this stuff, I'll probably make something to so y'all can download the files and all that. Ooh, I'm, it's kind of off by a little bit. That should be good now. I also might want to bring it down by a little bit just so I make sure it connects. Now I'm going to do that. New screw holes should I add? Let's do... I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, that easily touches the ground. Now, if you want to make a hole, just click on the hole option, and that becomes a hole. So I'm going to get a screw. I'm going to... Screw it through the bottom, and then it will go through my desk. So... I am going to have to hot glue both of those pieces together. I wonder if I should do... I should probably do like... Eh. I guess I'm just going to do one for each one. That sounds okay. Let me move it more to the center if I'm going to do that. So it just, it's just easier on it. And now that's basically done. Okay, thanks for watching the first live stream. I know it was short, but um, I just wanted to start it up and get some stuff done and ready so I could practice on this. So thanks for the one viewer. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.